Hello, my name is Charlie, and in this video, we're gonna be doing some calculations using programming. So, before my grandfather passed away, he gave me this useful tool called a slide rule. It's like an ancient calculator, uh, before when calculators were way too expensive. So, um, nowadays, we still use calculators, even though we have these amazing computers right next to our calculators. So, th this is like the same situation as like using a slide rule today. So why don't we use our computers, our amazing, incredible computers, to perform our calculations instead of using a calculator. So, actually, to do this, we're actually going to be using a Google product. It's not Gmail or Google Hangouts. Those will be too social. It's not YouTube. That would be too fun. But instead, we're going to be using Google Collaboratory. One of the most incredible uh, things Google has made, in my opinion. So yeah, let's just get started. Enjoy. Okay, to start, let's open up Google Google Collaboratory. Let's open that up. Let's create a new notebook. Okay, perfect. So to begin, let's import some Python libraries. We're gonna be importing NumPy which stands for numerical python and we're also going to be importing matplotlib.pyplot numpy and matplotlib are used by hundreds of th thousands of scientists and engineers to perform numerical calculations and make beautiful plots to make a plot we need data so let's make some x and y data let's generate some x and y data so for x, um, let's say we have 25 points ranging from negative 10 to 10 that are linearly spaced. So numpy dot lin space, negative 10 to 10, and 25 points. Now, let's take a look at our uh, x values. As you can see, we, could have, we have 25 points ranging from negative 10 to 10. Now, for our y values, let's do something simple. Let's just simply multiply x by um, 3. No, x by 3. And then let's say add 1. Let's take a look at our y values. As expected, we start at negative 29 and end at 31. Now, let's plot this data. Matplotlib uh, creates figures. And these figures can contain multiple subplots. In our case, we want one figure and one subplot. So, um, let's do splt.subplots. Let's use a default configuration. We want to be able to access the figure and the subplot, so subplot and axes. So let's um, use fig to access the figure and let's say axes to um, access the subplot and also the axes. Now using our axes, let's plot our data x comma y and then the shape of our points let's say o's now let's see what we have okay that looks really nice but that looks a tad bit too perfect let's jumble up our y data so y data is going to be equal to numpy um can randomize normally around our uh previous y points that we generated using the command numpy.random.normal parentheses and then the location which is going to be y and the scale or standard deviation of our points around our data so let's say two there we go now let's change that from y to y data okay that's more like it that's more randomized and looks more like real data now in eighth grade we learned about how to perform linear regression on our calculators so let's do that so to perform linear regression, numpy has this method called polyfit that we're gonna be using. So let's make like a variable, like anything that you want. Let's say C, okay? And let's set that equal to numpy.polyfit. And basically we just import our X and then we import our Y. Uh, so Y data, which is gonna be our data. And then the degree. Um, a, a line is a polynomial of degree one, so one. There we go. Now let's take a look at our C values. As you can see, 
The numbers are very close to our previous slope and intercept in our previous data, but they aren't exactly that number because we jumb jingled and jangled up our uh, values using numpy's random normal. So now we want to access these. So let's make a new variable called y fit since this is going to be like the fitted line and let's set that equal to. So the first number we could access that by like c0 multiplied by x which is going to be plus the second number so c1 as you can see to access the first number we use zero and to access the second number we use one this is because python's indexing starts at zero shift enter and now let's make another plot x dot plot parentheses x comma y fit and then since we want it to be a line let's make it a line and there you have it as you can see that is how you perform linear regression on, with Python. Thanks for watching. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go, I want to quickly let you guys know that this background I have right behind me is actually a green screen. And in, in a future videos, I'll show you guys how to make the components that make up my background so that you could eventually make one of your own. Okay, bye now.